I'll tell you, some of the things we do in this job can just occasionally be a little bit tedious. And then you have days like these. This car is absolutely mental. The sort of performance that we're talking about is very deep indeed into the Veyron Supersport League. I mean, you do the maths, which is 730 horsepower, 738 pounds feet of torque, and you think, well, it's nowhere near a Veyron. But then you add the curb weight, 1,350 kilograms. That's more than a caterham less than a Veyron Supersport. And that's why, when you put your foot down in this car, Crikey, you really need to know what you're doing. Because the other difference between this and a Veyron is that this is two-wheel drive, not four-wheel drive. Having said that, though, the traction is phenomenal. I can't believe how much of its power this car puts down, even on these naggy winding roads. OK, there's traction control and there's ESP, but you can turn the whole lot off with this cheeky little button on the steering wheel. And, I don't know, you need to have a bit of a word with yourself before you turn all those systems off, because when you put 730-odd horsepower down through just the rear axle in a car that weighs this little and is this agile, you really need to know what you're doing, otherwise you would be in the shrubs faster than you can say, oh dear. The engine is a bespoke 6-litre twin-turbo V12 courtesy of AMG. AMG doesn't make this engine for anyone else, so it really is a bespoke engine. And the gearbox is a single clutch unit, made by X-Track actually, which has seven speeds, seven forward ratios. The gear change is great actually. It's really fast, and they've engineered it to feel quite dramatic when you upshift. You get a lovely blip on the downshift. Um, all of a sudden, you begin to wonder why you need a DSG. I love the steering in this car. I mean, it's power assisted, but the assistance is really subtle. So, ta-da, there's feel, amazingly. And yet, it's really accurate and really precise. You can place the front end just where you want to. of this car, it's bonkers, it just feels like the world's fastest go-kart. And I love the way it stops. I mean, you've got these monster great carbon discs at all four corners. You've not really properly experienced the Pagani Huara until you've done this, which is to put the window down and then <laughs> Prepare your ears for this. Oh my gosh, I don't know if this noise is coming through on the microphone, but it is just mental! Okay, is the Huara worth a million euros? I think it is. I mean, it is so fast in a straight line and around corners and when you're stopping for corners and it feels so special inside here. I mean, some of the styling is a, a little bit Buck Rogers, it has to be said, but there's nothing quite like this. Oh, it's so much more funky than a Veyron on this car. They're only going to make 20 this year and they're going to make 40 next year. And that's it. They're not going to make more than 40 a year. 40 very lucky people. I think this is my new favourite car of all time. 
definitely. 